Hi, and welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name is Tom Fotios coming to you from the Motor City. Today we have a beautiful frame off restored 1967 Chevelle convertible. Get ready for summer, guys. Come on out. Greg's going to be doing an intro for you, taking you for a little test drive and showing you this perfect beauty. If you've caught us on eBay and you're looking for the pricing on our cars, go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. All the prices for our cars are there on our website, and it's also the reserve price on eBay, so it's the exact same price. Or you can just call Tom at 248-974-9513. He'd love to talk to you about the cars. Here at Vanguard, we've got over 30,000 square feet of indoor storage and over 120 muscle cars for sale. We buy about 35 cars a month, so the inventory changes quite often. If you like us on Facebook, you'll get a notification the minute we buy a car. That's one of the first things we do when we buy a car. We post it on Facebook to let everybody know. We actually sell a lot of cars that way. Also, like us on your, or make us one of your favorites on your computer too, because you need to check us out often. We've always got something cool going on here. One of the things that people always ask is, where do you get all these cool muscle cars? Well, we get them from customers like you. People call us when they've got cars for sale, when they want to trade cars, and also when they find cars for sale. If you've got a friend who has a car for sale and it's a high quality muscle car, give us a call with that phone number, and if I buy that car, we'll pay you 200 bucks. We encourage you to come visit us here at Vanguard. If you're from out of town flying to Detroit Metro Airport, call Tom at 248-974-9513. We can send somebody down to the airport, pick you up. It's only about a 20 minute ride. We're right here in Plymouth, Michigan, and you can come out and check out all these cars. After buying thousands of cars and talking to thousands of people about them buying cars, we've developed seven deadliest mistakes to buying a muscle car online at ClassicCarBuyingSecrets.com. You can go to our website and check it out and download it free. Check it out. It's some good information. All right, we're out here with our uh, Chevelle now. This baby is beautiful. Hey, if you're catching us on YouTube and you'd like to see about 100 pictures of the car, Go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. We're going to put the car on the left. We're going to take pictures of the underneath side, the wheel wells. We're going to get under the hood. We'll get in that beautiful interior, in the trunk. We'll show you everything you need to see so you can make a good decision on your muscle car investment. So come on up. Let's take a look at this beautiful Chevelle. We start right up front here. The chrome on the front bumper is beautiful. The grill is all beautiful. All the moldings on the front of the hood look great. I really love the detail in these on the hood. The uh, wheel lip moldings look good. The door gaps look nice. All the stainless around the uh, windshield's in great shape. Check the operation of the doors. Pop right open. Take a look at those door lips. Door jams are all beautiful. Door operates nice. The quarter panel's straight as can be. All the trim back here around the uh, tail lights and the um, deck lid here look great. Check in there. Beautiful. Look at those wheel wells. Looks great. Pull the mat up here. Everything looks great underneath here. Got a spare tire in there. Look down the side of the car. Nice and straight. See how nice the door fits. It's nice and flush. These door lips all look nice and clean. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not a consignment dealer. We spend the time, we check the cars out ahead of time, and then when they get back here to the shop, we check them out even further. We've got a 130 point inspection sheet we go through, and the reason we use that sheet is so when you call Tom at 248-974-9513, he can answer just about any question you may have about the car. Let's check out the interior. 
So we got a really unique uh, blue interior in this white car. It really sets the car off. Got nice interior. Steering wheel's in great shape. Bucket seats, console. Back seat looks great. We've got seat belts um, front and back. Now the top on the car is black. If you take a look at our pictures, you'll see the uh, top up on the car. The dash pad's in awesome shape. All right, we're underneath the uh, 67 uh, Chevelle convertible now. As you can see, it's rotisserie restored. The uh, floorboards here are all painted black. It's a slick black. The drop downs look good. Uh, the exhaust system's been replaced. Looks like the uh, gas tank, looks like the gas tank may be an older one, but it's been painted. Um, Got, looks like new straps. Got a 12 bolt rear end. We just rolled it over. It does not have a Posi unit in it. It's got brand new shocks. Looks like a new fuel line. The bushings look like they've been replaced. The uh, extra braces are there that was in the uh, big block Chevelles, but the reinforcing on the lower control arms is not there. I'm thinking when they uh, replace these bushings, they probably bought the loaded lower control arms and then they didn't, uh, they didn't get the reinforced ones. The upper control arms, the bushings look like they were replaced. They don't look like they're brand new, but they look like they're in okay shape. Now it does look like it's got a uh, aftermarket drive shaft in it and a brand new U-joint. The mufflers look great, of course. The floor pan here, uh, I believe, looks like it had a brand new floor pan put in it. The uh, backs of the rockers look good. It's got a new brake line here. Of course, all painted up nice and beautiful here. We've got a uh, Turbo 400 trans. Looks like a new shifter cable. The uh, parking brake cable is here. The lower front suspension, definitely new bushings there. Looks like um, new flex lines, new ball joints. Really nice and clean underneath here. Looks like all the steering gear is brand new on the car. The uh, front frame horns look nice and uh, straight. The uh, front core supports in good shape also. Up here in the uh, inner fenders, back sides of the front fenders look good. The uh, inner fenders will also have a nice coat of paint on them. It's a real beautiful car underneath. Well, let's look at the wheels and tires. All right, we've got a BFGs up front, two 1570-15s. Uh, the trim rings look good, center caps look great. Let's check out the rears. Rear tires are a little bit bigger. We got two 45-60-15s here. Same trim rings and center caps. They look awesome. Pan over here. Now the frame, we have checked it all out. Uh, the frame looks great. Someone has added a big patch right here, and this is where these frames have a problem sometimes. But they've done a great job patching it. Got a great big uh, chunk of metal in there. They've welded it all nice and tight. They've ground it all down so it looks nice and uh, straight. Uh, very nice job. And over on the other side, we have a smaller patch. Looks like it had a smaller problem. Getting inside the frame and feeling around, this frame feels fine. There's not a thing wrong whatsoever. It's nice and uh, nice and clean inside. Um, my feeling on it is that 
Somebody uh, reinforced this thing to make sure that she was in great shape. Let's look at that motor. All right, we're under the hood of this baby now. We've got a 396 here. It is numbers matching. Verified the numbers off the pad to the VIN. Um, it's got cast iron exhaust manifolds on it, chrome um, air cleaner top and valve covers. Looks like uh, looks like I can't see what kind of carburetor it is without taking the uh, air cleaner off here. It's like, looks like a period correct um, distributor and a period correct carburetor. Got power brakes, power steering. Those guys will have to call me back later. Take a look at the paintwork on the inner fenders. It looks beautiful. They did a real nice job restoring this engine compartment. The firewall looks great. Um, the power steering pump actually has the remote reservoir here. Nice coat of paint on the motor also. It's really sharp underneath the hood here. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales put this dream in your driveway. Let's take this baby for a ride. It's numbers matching, big block, 67 Cheval convertible. Got the uh, Speedos working down here. Got an aftermarket Kenwood radio. The clock down here in the uh, console, she's not working, but it's down there. Love the console in the car. Looks like uh, we've got the fuel gauge over here. Looks like the temp gauge is coming up. Oil pressure gauge is reading high pressure. Looks like AM radios making noise. I hear the blower working. This car's a blast to drive. Even the horn's blowing. Let's see. We've got to find the windshield wipers. Here they are. There, the windshield wipers are working. I tell you, if we don't get back in the shop, I think we're going to have to use the windshield wipers. Some ugly clouds coming up here. I'm getting this last video in for the day. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts. You saw us just flip around back there. Just whoop, right around. No problem. She drives great. Like I was saying, we're shipping experts. We can ship it anywhere in the world. Just give us a call at 248-974. 9513 and there is no better place to buy a muscle car than from where they all started right here in the Motor City baby we're right outside the Motor City here in Plymouth Michigan take a look at those ugly clouds we're going we're heading for the barn right here's the barn we're at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth Michigan Normally you'd see a bunch of cars outside here and we got two left there. We're going to get them inside before the rain starts. So give us a call and let Vanguard Motor Sales put your dream in your driveway. <laughs>